three-story commercial building, the smoke showing from the third floor. Although the primary calling method for GETS is through the main GETS access number shown on the front of your card, sometimes an organization's telephone system settings or network issues can stop GETS calls from going through. If this happens, GETS has several alternate numbers that can still provide access to GETS. These numbers are printed on the back of the card. To make a call, simply dial any of the alternate numbers listed on the back of the card. You can use any of the carrier's toll-free GETS numbers. You don't have to subscribe to the specific carrier service to call its access number. For example, someone with Verizon service can still use AT&T GETS access numbers. When you dial an alternate number, it can take 30 to 60 seconds for the call to connect. Once connected, you'll hear a prompt. You are using GETS Verizon. Then enter your PIN, which is listed on the front of the card. When you hear the voice prompt, please enter your destination number now. Dial the number you're trying to call. Do not enter the one before the area code. You'll then hear an announcement telling you what network you've been connected to. You are using Gets Verizon. Yes, this is Dispatcher Hopkins with the... Your call will then be routed to its destination. During periods of high network traffic, it may take up to 60 seconds to connect your call. Use these alternate numbers whenever you're unable to get a call through using the standard GETS access numbers. You can try as many as you need until your call goes through. If you experience issues getting your calls through during an emergency or while making test calls, please contact the DHS Priority Telecommunications Service Center after the event so we can help troubleshoot the issue.